I'm here because I would reached the middle part of my life and it felt like everything was in chaos. The relationships were difficult, work was difficult, raising children was difficult. I was raised in a church, I knew the Ten Commandments, I knew what Jesus taught, and yet it didn't seem to be helping me. I stopped going to church, no one seemed to notice. And then a friend invited me to the Episcopal Church, and from the moment I entered and I saw the people kneeling down silently to talk to God one by one, as though he could really hear, as though he were really there, I found something different. And as I continued to be involved, um, the, the structure of the church, the nature of the service, helped me reevaluate my life, what I was doing and what was happening to me and around me. And, and I became joyous in living again. And as the years have passed and I've gotten more and more involved in each step of the way, I find it that I'm drawn closer to God, not through my actions, but through His. And being in this church is the greatest blessing in my life, and I am so thankful to be part of it. I'm here because um, I was uh, born here. I was baptized here, confirmed here, married here, and um, I don't know what the future holds, but probably have my funeral here. Um, and I, that's not the only reason I'm here. Uh, I, I love this church. It's, it's my home church, and the people here are just great. So. Uh, I enjoy coming here every Sunday. I am here because, well, the same reason Gail is. I love the people here. Um, we have a, we have a great, we're small but mighty. We have a fantastic group of people. We all care for each other. We help each other out. Um, and it's, it's family. So that's why I'm here. I'm here, first of all, um, kind of came back to the church after a period of absence for music initially and uh, it's a church I was raised in and so it uh, holds a lot of personal uh, history and family history and uh, I love old buildings and uh, love this building for that reason um, but personal journey obviously God and religion have a lot to do with it uh, but a lot of reasons, the community, that's a big one. That's what keeps me coming back. Why am I here? History. Ritual. Belief. Church of the Incarnation is a fairly modern church, and yet just by looking at the architecture of the building. You can tell there's history here. There is a sense of belonging, not just with the present, but with the past. Um, the ritual, our liturgy, uh, goes from today hundreds of years into history. That provides a grounding that provides a cornerstone on which to anchor belief and faith. It gives comfort when the cares of modern society, when the, the hatreds of the modern world are just weighing upon you. You can come here, you can feel the love of the people, you can feel the, the cornerstone, the anchoring of the history to feel the reverence that permeates even the stones of the building. And from that, you can take surcease, comfort, and relief. Well, Chuck and I have been here for 45 years, and uh, finding the Episcopal Church was a very big part of our coming to Great Falls. And I frankly feel that the people here are genuine, they're real, they're humble, um, and just good folks. And you know, there's something about being surrounded by that on a Sunday morning. Well, um, I grew up as a Presbyterian, but uh, when Jerry and I got together, she was already uh, in the Episcopal Church, and uh, the 
church uh, was not that different from the Presbyterian experience that I had, except that uh, there was more of the uh, ritual, and I became very uh, fond of the ritual over time. And um, perhaps I was a bit peripheral to the goings on of the church for a long time when I was uh, in medical practice, but in later years, uh, I've gotten to love this church and the people here, and uh, it's like another home. We brought up four kids in this church, and they all participated in every activity that there was and loved it. Why am I at Church of the Incarnation? That's a good question. Uh, frankly, I was born and raised here. Uh, I was baptized and confirmed and married and buried my mother and my father and my grandpa. Uh, it's so very historical, but then we went and got married and we traveled all over many, many places in and out of the United States. And when, uh, when my father was ill, we moved back here to this Montana and moved back to this beautiful church. I love this church. It's not only is it historical for me and, you know, where we were born and raised, Cradle Episcopalian, but I'll tell you, uh, it's very, very special. I'm on altar guild, and uh, you can tell, and choir. There's lots of things to do here if you'd like to, to join us here. Lots of things to do. And uh, altar guild, what's really cool is that you know that this church was uh, founded in the late 1880s. We have silver patents and chalices from the very late 1800s. It's amazing. Uh, vases, you know, brass vases that are from them. It's, the church is so historical and so beautiful. But what's really the best of all is that the people are beautiful. This is a beautiful body of folks that love the Lord. And uh, I am thankful to be able to be a part of it. And I hope that you will come and join us too.